Hi everybody, I'm Xavier from AeroCoach and welcome to the Velodrome. What we're going to be doing today is some skin suit testing. Now, we use the Velodrome as a complement to the wind tunnel in order to do aero testing, both for skin suits, but also rider testing and development on products such as wheels. And it allows us to make sure that we're matching up data between the two different environments, because obviously a Velodrome is a more real world environment than a wind tunnel. The final part of the puzzle is outdoor testing, which we also do at outdoor Velodromes too. The Garmin Track Aero System allows us to measure a rider's CDA or aerodynamic drag every single second as they ride around the track. Using input variables such as air density, the rolling resistance of the tyres and the rider's power output and speed, in combination with a 3D model of the velodrome we can establish how aerodynamic a rider is using a portable system. During a test at the velodrome, the rider is instructed to ride at the bottom of the track and they have to hit a timing strip every single lap, which establishes their location on the track and also gives us a data point for that lap. Now we know that the rider accounts for the vast majority of the aerodynamic drag of the bike and rider system. On average, it's around 75 to 80%. So changing your clothing and moving to more aerodynamic clothing is gonna have a really, really big impact on your aerodynamic drag compared with changing something like your bike frame. There are a number of different factors which will affect the speed of a skin suit. The most important of these is fit. If a skin suit doesn't fit you correctly, it's going to be costing you a lot of watts and causing an awful lot of extra drag. Other things that will affect a skin suit speed are things like the fabrics that are used and also the seam placement because this will affect how the airflow moves over the body. When testing skin suits, it's important to make sure that you test at a variety of different speeds as well as on a variety of different shapes and sizes of riders. Today, for example, we're testing on a rider who's a little bit taller with a more open position and this is to establish how much difference there is with the different skin suits with more airflow around the torso compared with a smaller rider who has a more closed off position. enjoyed this video about skin suit and clothing technology and also how you can measure aerodynamic drag outside of a wind tunnel. For more content like this please hit subscribe on our YouTube channel and we'll see you next time.